Hello everybody! Didn't get to it last year, but this year I'm going to refinish the back door. Take a look at it before. Doesn't look too bad. It's going to sand down those brush strokes a bit. We got some worn through areas there. And here's a look down the door edge. I'm removing all the hardware. I'm going to see if I've got a new old stock or a better condition latch there. As well as a striker. I'm pretty sure I've got some more of those new old stock. But taking it off and doing it right. And a few moments later, the back door is down. Now I can sand down this trim pretty easily. I'm going to get these uh, hinges on the soak pretty soon. I'm going to soak them in some strong LA's Totally Awesome in hot water. And that paint will just come right off. May have to run them through the ultrasonic cleaner for some, some of the stubborn paint, but usually hot water, LA's totally awesome, gets the job done. And here is the back door. I'm going to take the remaining bits and pieces of hardware off, and I'm going to start sanding on it and get it smoothed out where I can paint it. I'm going to take the... needs a new door sweep anyway. So I'm going to go pick one of those up. I'm not going to worry about trying to get the paint off of this one because it's the rubber strip is ruined on it anyway. Get these hinges, the other half of the hinges off. And uh, we'll see what I can do with this old door. I keep fixing what I've got to try to save a little bit of money. This is an original door to the house from 1958. Nothing wrong with it. Just needs a little, little TLC and it'll be good as brand new. Don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. This yellow here. This is some old, old epoxy that was used to glue wooden railroad bridges together. My grandfather would get this by the five gallon buckets and had it for many years while he worked and at least 27 years after he retired and he would use this stuff to fix everything so he's glued the bottom of this door back together who knows 50 years ago I don't know and it's still holding perfectly so just a quick note on that of course that will remain I'm not going to try to take that's solid stuff there that's probably outlawed these days, whatever that was made out of. So I've had the door hardware soaking in the LA's Totally Awesome most of the day. And here's what happens. The paint just sheets right off. Just a quick note. At one time the house was brown. It's a day or two later. Here's how the back door turned out. Looks much cleaner and much better. Got the paint off the hinges, which looks a heck of a lot better. Lots of sanding. And I got a good smooth finish now. Minimal brush strokes, but a fella can only sand for so long. New door sweep with no paint on it. I didn't have a new old stock striker plate, but I had one that was in good condition. So that went on there. Need to work on some screws did touch up right in here on the screen door as well. I may have shown that in a previous video. Got new weather stripping all the way around. 
this is all repainted all inside the door here. All that new weather stripping. Here's the other side of the door. This side's a bit rougher because it was outside for many years before we got the storm door. Just had a regular wooden screen door there. So this one's not going to look quite as good, but it still turned out decent. Just a little rougher, but not bad. Still looks better than it did. So glad to have this project done finally. It's been on the list for years. So once again, this has been refinishing the back door. Thank you for watching.